and welcome to Tuesday News Day, your number one resource for the entire week's worth of VR news. Happy 2021, everybody. We're going back to a retro intro this week while I work on a new one for the new year. And yeah, sorry for the delay this week. I know I hate having a Tuesday video on a Wednesday too, but sometimes it just needs to happen. However, some insane stuff happened this week. Apple making VR gloves, new cheaper full body trackers, VR absolutely shattering records, while VR chat simultaneously breaking. That and so much more, you won't want to miss it, so let's just get right into the news. Rec Room recently received a pretty awesome update for the Quest 2, and now Rec Royale, the Rec Room Battle Royale mode, is available on the Quest 2. You should check it out. It's easy to get into, and more importantly, it's completely free. And this is no paid promotion at all, but the Rec Room developers reached out to me and wanted to give away a Quest 2 through my channel to one of you lucky people. They just love our community that much, believe it or not. The only thing that you have to do is comment below on this video why you love VR and what you see in the future for virtual reality. It could be about anything. The only other requirement is to join in my Discord server and send a screenshot of your comment to this channel. And you're automatically entered as long as you're in the United States. Honestly, the ones to thank here would be the Rec Room developers. They didn't require anything of me. There's nothing that I have to do. They just wanted to give away a Quest 2 to my community. So you know how to enter. If you're interested, go check out Rec Room Battle Royale and enter for the giveaway. Next up, we have some interesting articles that come at a really weird time. A huge VR all-time record was just broken. Yet we get articles like this from the New York Times. Quote, VR is not a hit. That's okay. End quote. But back on topic. VR chat this New Year's broke records and actually broke. Yeah, that's right. I was there streaming on Twitch and you might have been there too, but VR chat completely broke about 15 minutes from midnight Eastern Standard Time. I was all excited to hit the countdown with chat and boom, I was pretty much stuck in limbo. But this is uh, sort of for good reason. Tupper, one of the VR chat developers, recently posted on Medium an article titled VR chats. New Year's 2021, or what the f was that? <laughs> This whole article addresses the fact that VRChat completely broke and Tupper talks about what happened. Basically, everyone was, quote, unable to get any file assets from the VRChat servers. Our API stopped talking to people, end quote. And this was because VRChat shattered a previous record for not only VRChat, but VR in general. In the application alone, more than 40,000 people were online at the same time enjoying New Year's together virtually. Uh, instance, of course, but a large percentage of those were in VR using VR headsets, whether standalone or PC VR. So VRChat has obviously learned from this uh, sort of bad occasion, but I do want to mention how amazing this accomplishment is. Because of a holiday, more people than ever came together virtually through VR to celebrate it together. And back on this New York Times article, just really quick, V.R. is not a hit. Look, I get it. VR is still niche, and you just don't understand it yet. We'll welcome you, the fabled tech journalist, with a set of virtual reality goggles, as you call them, next New Year's Eve party. Assuming VR chat can keep their services running with even more users next year. Just don't get lost. But now onto some extremely exciting news regarding full body tracking. Finally, another company is making full body trackers to compete with HTC. However, this company does outright say that it's friendly competition. You all likely know that I'm a huge fan of full body tracking and it's something that I use all the time, just about daily. And I promise you being in something like VR chat with full body tracking versus no full body is legit a world of difference. The only problem is pretty much the only option you have if you want full body tracking at the moment is to use HTC Vive trackers with base stations. Of course, you could use Kinect or Nolo or a bunch of other things, but to be honest, nothing stacks up even close to using actual Vive trackers. But Vive trackers are $100 a piece, and while they do the job and they do it somewhat well, they have their own downsides. They're pretty big, a little heavy, and do not have great battery life. Not to mention, 
and they're expensive at $100 a pop. Well, a company called Tundra Labs is coming to the rescue, it seems. Tundra Labs has for a long time been making SteamVR hardware development kits, and I actually have quite a few that I've been messing around with to make my own trackers. They make IMUs, or inertial measurement units, boards, everything. So it makes sense that they would be the ones to put together their own SteamVR tracker, dubbed the Tundra Tracker. Now, here's a picture of a Vive Tracker, and here's a picture of the Tundra Tracker. It's significantly smaller, and according to Tundra Labs, will launch for cheaper than the HTC Vive Trackers. Here's directly from Tundra, quote, The device is to be 60% smaller, consume 50% less power, weigh 50% less, and have twice the battery, end quote. And Tundra plans on delivering the Tundra Tracker at a lower price than the Vive Tracker with additional discounts for Tracker bundles. So if you buy three, it's cheaper. And just about everyone will be buying three. And here's another cool thing. If you already have Vive Trackers, then they work alongside the Tundra Tracker, so you don't have to worry about just having wasted trackers lying around. Go track your cat or something. <laughs> another sweet thing regarding the Tundra Trackers is that they'll have built-in shoelace mounting options and even integrate magnets, maybe? This is something that I am extremely excited about. I love full body tracking, and this is a direct improvement over what we currently have. Tundra is going to be launching these trackers through Kickstarter, which I do wish that there was just a store that you could order from, but Kickstarter is a good way to get an estimate of how much interest there is for certain hardware before you order the actual hardware. The Kickstarter will be launching later this month in January, which I will certainly let you know about when it happens, and the end product is expected to ship later this year. I'm definitely going to be reviewing these, comparing them to Vive trackers, of course, but all in all, I'm pumped for this, and it's something that I've been waiting for for, I don't know, it feels like years now. But now, it's time for a meme break! I don't know why all these boomer articles always insist on calling VR headsets VR goggles, or VR glasses as this one article says. I mean, I'm not trying to gatekeep, call it whatever you want I guess, but if you're trying to sound knowledgeable on a subject, I mean you are a tech journalist. It's just so awkward when a large publication can't get a name right that is accepted industry-wide. It's a headset. It's hard to take your criticism seriously when you can't get the name of the subject you're talking about correct. But now, back to the news. The Quest 2 is now back-ordered by up to a month in the United States and Canada. A very similar thing happened last year with the original Quest. However, the volume of units sold this year is significantly higher. In most of the world, the back order is only by a week or two, but in Germany, the headset is still completely unavailable due to the ongoing legal trouble that Oculus and Facebook are under there. Interestingly, the Rift S is also out of stock, showing very similar numbers, which I suppose is good for Oculus. They're clearing out stock just in time for them to discontinue the Rift line later this year, which they announced a few weeks back. Facebook has already said to Road to VR that they've made many more Quest 2s than they did Quest, so it's pretty good news for the VR industry that they're completely sold out. Within the next few months, these Steam charts and sales charts for software are going to be off the charts. <laughs> we are definitely going to see some broken records soon. So Apple actually comes up quite a bit on this channel, whether for AR or VR purposes, because over the past few years, they've been gobbling up company after company related to AR or VR and have filed patent after patent. A couple weeks ago, it was a patent related to interactions with SR, or synthesized reality, and this week it's an entire glove. Now, if you're anything like me, you've been waiting for the chance to ditch the controller and for VR to be operated by gloves or hands only. It's a stretch right now, to be honest, as entire control schemes would have to be rethought, but this patent from Apple shows that the company, at the very least, has been working on a solution to that problem. This patent for a tracked VR glove was filed back in 2018, but was just officially granted at the close of 2020. Here are some details from the patent, and it's really interesting. The VR glove can include a plurality of inertial measurement units to track the movement of one or more finger and or hand sections. The IMUs 
these can include one or more motion sensors, such as a gyroscope and accelerometer for measuring the orientation, position, and velocity of objects. The VR glove can also include force sensors, actuators for haptic feedback, temperature sensors for heaters. The VR glove can further include logic such as an onboard controller, a connector, a transceiver, a battery, and the like." End quote. So, while of course, like I always say regarding patents, just because this is patented doesn't mean that this will ever see the light of day, but on the other hand, this VR glove could be announced this year. You never know with patents, but I should also be clear that Apple has a long history of patenting a wide variety of inventions that will never get released. So while I wouldn't count on this coming anytime soon, this is yet another sign from the company that their entry into the VR or AR space may be coming pretty soon. But now it's time for question of the week from Dan Lima or Dan Lima, one of the two. Do you think we'll ever see a dual card game in VR similar to Yu-Gi-Oh where the cards come to life? And yeah, for sure. A real life Hearthstone or Yu-Gi-Oh sounds amazing to me. Growing up, I played a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh and I could just imagine being in VR, throwing down a blue eyes white dragon on a dual disc and watching it it come to life in front of me. I think that a really good card game would not only be a smash hit in VR, but it could also be a really easily monetized game for a developer. A card game would be easy to have cross-play compatibility with desktop or mobile devices. Of course, you'd be missing out on the awesome VR experience, but then again, you'd be able to take it anywhere and play with anybody that doesn't even have a VR headset, and undoubtedly, they'll want a VR headset. Believe it or not, a Yu-Gi-Oh!-like game already exists right now, and it's called Dual Monsters VR. It's not great and it's not perfect, but it does work and it's pretty fun. And that was question of the week, so make sure to leave your own in the comment section below and I may just answer yours next. Also, don't forget about that Quest 2 giveaway. I don't normally give away VR headsets, but this one is courtesy of the Rec Room developers, so give them some love. And remember, all you have to do is leave a comment on why you're excited about VR and why you love VR, and then post a screenshot of that in the Quest 2 giveaway channel of my Discord, and you're entered. Also, make sure to check out my Twitch channel. I'm streaming all the time, and it's always a good time. I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters, especially my Omegas like Zale, Fur Trap, Lucas Risotto, CPCJ79, Chaotic, Dented Melon, KR, That Brock Guy, HCG Randon, Benji, Ronzarelli, Biz, Fusion Oak, Very Evil Shadow, and Debonair Fab. I couldn't do any of this without you. Don't forget to like like this video if you loved it, subscribe if you want more of this, and hit that freaking bell if you just can't live without it. Much love, thrill out.